it's Sarah. All right, it's the next day. This is all dry. And there was a bit of an issue with the eyes. I did not like them, so before I went to bed last night, I pulled them off. And I fixed it already, but this is thin set that is already set. The only issue, I don't think that'll be an issue, but you have to be careful because it really dries hard. I'm liking the way I'm trying to do shading and highlighting a little bit. Um, not thrilled with the difference in the height of this pink compared to like my little cheekbones. They're very low. So I just have to be careful when I'm grouting. That's going to be the only issue. But the eyes, I'm going to try and show you a picture. This is what the eyes looked like last night. It kind of looks tribal and I mean interesting, but not what I was going for. Um, the eyelids that I had done on the table with you guys beforehand didn't really fit the way I wanted them to. They were cut like this, but I ended up cutting them down into like an eyelid like this. This is what I had on there and I pulled it off. So it was an eyelid. It definitely was an eyelid, but it didn't, it wasn't giving that look that I wanted. So I'm starting again and I'm really hoping I, I think I've done some tweaking that I think will work. The first thing I want to do, and I have thin set, I just mixed this up hopefully, yep, here we go, is, is put my eyeballs back on. And this time, the first time I had these glued to the whites of the eyes, and I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to let them be, um, so in other words, I had a whole piece of white, and I just glued the blue right to the top of it. So it stuck up higher. I'm not doing that this time. I'm going to do, I brought my little, um, my wizard in too, so that I could see what I did last time. And he was that way with the eye stuck on top. So now I just want to make sure my pupils are, I'm going to kind of make them look, her looking over. So see how the pupils are a little bit to the left, just a tiny bit. And then I can still move things, but I have, I cut the whites of the eyes so that, let's see, how do I want to do this? This one went here. I think I was putting the bigger pieces in the center. That's what I was doing. So we just want to make sure they fit because they're not, it's not, I'm going to cover them with the, the eyelids. So um, I should have had this all laid out. All right, all right, all right. I think I'm good. Really, I just need to be able to see some white to the eyes because the, the eyelid is going to cover it. That's the thought, anyway. That's the hope. And I just want them to be... This part could go over here. I'm just checking. I forget how I had it. That looks good. And then the eyelids... See, the eyelids will cover... Oh my God, that looks so much better. All right, so I'm, oopsie, I might have to do a little tweaking, but I think I'm gonna go with this. This is a little, I want. I might wanna cut something a little bigger for this side. Let me see if this fits over there. Not really. I think I do want that like that. Huh. I'm going to just start gluing because I have to make a decision. I can always cut another piece of white. I think I'm going to use a bigger piece of white for right here. I ended up, oh gosh, of course I closed my door to my craft room and Kiwi's, I mean, not Kiwi's on my shoulder. Kirby's like, what are you doing, Mom? Why can't I come in? Just like a kid. Now the other one hears her. Oh my God, I just hear her jump off the bed and be like, what's going on? I want to get in on it. All right, I don't want this to be... Oh man, did I use the wrong ones? I can't 
killing me. Really, I'm not doing anything. Jeez. All right, fine. Both have to come in now. I'm really not doing anything that's got your name on it, Missies. This I'm going to put... I mean, it's stuck. Okay. Because I just want this. See, you're not going to be able to see that anyway. But I wanted to have something to kind of rest the eyelid on. I'm going to trim it a little, but I think that one will be fine. Now I need to make sure these are good. See, this piece of white is a little small right here. Let's see. I kind of want it to sit, let's see, sit here a little better. That could be good. Let me just see. I mean, yeah, this is just chopped here a little too much. The only problem is I have to find a piece that's that same thickness of uh, white. I think it's the, you know what else? Look at this yellow. The yellow cup has a blue butterfly on it. I used the yellow butterfly. I used a little green one, some flowers. So anyway, I didn't know this had a blue one. And look, I cut when I was cutting this, I messed up. I cut the part of the butterfly off. Like I could use this piece of white. Let me just show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut a piece of this, and I'm gonna make. You know what I should do? I'm just gonna make a triangle first. So I'm just gonna cut like, this has a, I think a triangle would be good. I think it's much wider. I'm gonna look in the camera and see. But again, I think I'm gonna tweak it a little. Not an expert cutter yet. In my craft room, see, you're not even going to be able to see the top of that, so I can probably leave that like that. I'm just going to cut this a little. I think that looks just there won't be a cut in the middle of it but I think that looks good let's get the eyelid I think it's gonna work I think I'm gonna glue alright so are these all glued this is all glued so I think I'm gonna glue I'm gluing I'm gonna cut my hole a little bigger I was such a mess last night. Oh my gosh, I had glue everywhere. See, I call it glue. This is thin set. It's like a concrete type of thing. People use um, silicone, I guess. I'm not an expert, you guys. I'm just playing. Just playing. And then, I mean, it's good enough. All right, now, this is the tricky part because I want this. See, this has it's like thinner there and then it goes wide and this is a little thicker so maybe it'll sit no nope, it's gonna sit this one this one I think that'll go good there and then this one I'm gonna have to get to go here so I think I'm gonna trim right here a little bit this is it I have to make sure oops let me pl plug in my sorry I just noticed it wasn't plugged in just in case it decides to go out on this critical part but I think that is going to be able to go there I could trim it a little bit but I don't want to trim anything until um, let me make sure my eyes yeah they look good okay I don't want to really trim until I know it looks good 
I think it does. I was really wanting to do the blue afterthought, like, and I only had one blue cup, and I already cut this, and it's too small because of the blue here. Because I think that would have looked cool to have, like, blue eyeshadow. That was my original thought. And see, they're, like, so small. These are the only two pieces because once I cut up that blue cup, um, I don't have any more powder blue pieces that are, like, big enough. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I really, really under. I'm starting to understand that, you know, you, you shouldn't cut really until you're really working on the piece because, like, cut as you go because um, once you cut it, now you don't have another piece of that. But I'll use the pink. I think the pink is going to look just fine if she just doesn't have eyeshadow on. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put a little row of glitter above her eyelid. We'll see if I need to fill it in. So right here, I just kind of want to make sure it's going to sit on something and be able to attach. I think it is. Maybe like that. So I'm just checking if I need to cut it. This one. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to glue them both because I think they're both. Oh boy, let me twist my bag. I think I'm going to cover this thing with inset. See, it's not coming out. I think I'm still a little bit thick. Like I'm not making, I might need to add a tiny bit more water. Now that's a lot of thin set. Really got to get it on these ends. But as long as it attaches, oops, backwards. Go this way. And I think I want it to push towards the back. That's where I want it to connect in the back. I really, really, really cannot touch this. Oops, in your butt wipe. I don't know if it's going to attach. You know what? I think I really need it in the back. It's kind of squeezing out in the front. I'm going to load this up in the back. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the thin set right here and stick it into that because I don't need it oh I moved the eyeball a little I don't need it on the um under here like in the front because that's going to show I really just need it to adhere like that I think it's on and I'm just going to clean it up in here a tiny bit you can't see it but it's kind of pushing forward not that you'll be able to see, but you know what? Maybe it gives it something to grip onto, like under here. Now remember, grout is going to be, this is going to be grouted too, so I'm going to be able to, the grout will definitely hold it. Um, so, I mean... I need a paper towel, sorry. I get so distra distracted. I'm gonna put this, ooh, you're not sticking down too good, mister. I don't wanna fill in the areas where the grout's gonna go, in other words. But this can be all thin set back there. So right here I'm gonna clean up. Just so that the grout has a place, because depending on what color grout I use, like if I don't use gray, then this would definitely show. Now if it's not, um, okay. I just don't want it to harden and anything that's like just on the surface is going to be fine. But I think that looks good. I think that's the look I'm going for, a little hang down. Yep, I like it. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Let me 
tip it up a little bit more. Fill in this area. I mean, I'm putting a lot because I don't know how to do this. <laughs> this is the thing. It takes experience. You really have to do it a couple times. And that's like a ton, but I'm going to get it all out. But I'm going to squish it into place and hope for the best. I think it's going to hold. I mean, this is magical stuff, so I'm just going to go get this off. And maybe stuff it under here to get it to be like a, a brace, like a, you know, like build a wall or something. But I think I fixed it. Like this is sticking out right here. See that? But I don't think it matters. Actually, I know why, because I want it to go like this more. So I'm going to try and do it again. I want it to be flatter like this. See, that was sticking out like because I had it tipped up. So I'm just laying it flatter. And I think it's doing it. I'm excited. Okay. Just leave it, but I can't touch it. That was the one thing Jeannie was saying to me. Don't touch it. Because once it's on there, it will stick if I just leave it alone, give it a chance. Now, the other thing I was thinking, and I'm happy with that, it changed it so much. Let me show you the, uh, where's my picture? What a difference, OMG. And then my eyebrows actually are in the right position. I like it, okay. Now, I could just leave it like that. I'll probably put a little filler pieces in here. And then this would just be covered with grout. Like, I think that's doable, but I was thinking of putting a little, and I don't think I'm gonna. Okay, now, sorry, I'm just, <laughs> okay. But look at the eyes on the picture. He looks, like, scared or something. So, I'm just gonna, I love it. I'm so glad I did that. It looks better. It looks more <laughs> like a <laughs> an eyelid now. So I'm so happy I changed it. Oh, gosh. What a strong jawline <laughs> this thing has. But anyway, I was going to put these up here, like kind of like, um, I think I could still do it. Um, to kind of like be a little bit of an eyeshadow situation. This is, I have plenty of these um, pink glitter tiles. So let's see if I, I'll cut another one and, um, See if, it, see if I like it. We'll just, this is playing, um, we're auditioning. So I'm just cutting a, a one inch tile into like three pieces, even kind of even pieces. And let's see what happens. I could probably fit four on each eye. And that's what it would look like. I don't hate it, but I don't know that I need it. But I think, um, Let's see, they would have to be thinner here because that eyebrow doesn't have a... It's all right, let me do another one. I'll cut these thinner. I don't think it needs it, guys. I, that's what I'm thinking about right now. It'd be hard to get it to sit right. It, it would be glued on top of the eyelid, which that's okay. One more. It's so funny, like, talking to you guys helps me. <laughs> and you're not even here, but it, like, 
That's because I'm crazy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's just auditioning. I mean, the red lips and the pink, it's kind of off, but you know what? She's a little off anyway. I could do the blue. I could do a light blue if I could. Oh, I have this. <gasps> Ooh, I think I pull the blue in with this. <coughs> now, I don't want to cut up all my. I only have a few of this color. Oh, you know what I have, though? I have little ones. <gasps> See, I start. you start to look around your stash. And that's not baby blue. All right, let me think. I don't know. I don't think I need it. I think I'm going to take it off this one and look at it without it. I think it looks just fine without it. I'm going to do filler and here I'm going to put little pieces of, um, yep, I'll use the pinks other places. So I have to do the whole back. So see, let's see, I'm, I know it's close to the camera, but this could be hair. Or it could be a whole nother design that you would see on the other side of the um, piece. But I kind of made it finish. Like I finished this one. I might have to put a piece of pink right here just to connect because I have it here. Uh, they look even though. Anyway, so that's it, you guys. I just wanted you to see how I fixed my eyes. And I'll be back with the final reveal. All right. Thanks for watching.